Hi, my name is Alan Madden. I'm a chartered accountant and a tax expert in the Mississauga, Toronto, and Oakville regions of Ontario, Canada. Today's short video is about 2010 personal tax return preparation tips. It's really important that you watch this video in order to save the most amount of tax when you prepare your personal tax return for the 2010 year. Tip number one, contribute to your RSPs. The RSP contribution deadline is March the 1st, 2011. So make sure you contribute before that time. The reason you should contribute to your RSPs is that the amount contributed is tax deductible from your income. And secondly, any income earned inside the RSP is completely tax free. So there are two great benefits for contributing to RRSPs. To determine the amount you can contribute for the current 2010 year, simply refer to your 2009 Notice of Assessment and it will be shown on that statement. Tip number two, organize your tax receipts so that you can claim all available tax deductions and tax credits on your personal tax return. Examples of credits include tuition, interest paid on student loans, medical expenses, donations, political contributions, public transit classes, and amounts paid for a children's sports or fitness activity program. Tip number three, make sure you file your personal tax return on time. For individuals, the date is April 30th, 2011. For self-employed individuals, the due date is June 15th, 2011. If you file late, you will receive a significant penalty from the CRA, which is calculated as 5% of the balance owing plus 1% that the for each month that the return is passed to, to a maximum of 12%. That can really add up. If you don't have all of your information together and you know you just can't file by April 30th, make sure you make an estimated payment. And if you do so, the penalties will either be zero or a small amount for late filing. The estimated payment should be made by or before April 30th, 2011. Tip number four, claim childcare expenses. Child care expenses are tax deductible and must be claimed on the lower income spouse's tax return. Child care expenses include babysitting fees, PLASP fees, daycare, and after school programs. For, ch for children born in 2004 or later, the maximum deductible amount is $7,000 and for children born between 2000 between 1994 and 2003, the maximum deductible amount for child care expenses is $4,000. These amounts are per child, so the deduction can add up to a lot of money and great potential tax savings. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to visit my website, 8httpmaddenca.com, which is shown at the bottom of this video, and also get access to your free report 20 tax tips on how to beat the tax man, the URL for which is shown at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and look forward to talking to you next time.